Okay, so um, good morning uh, to everyone. Today we are going to learn about the digital painting. Okay, so today we are going to learn about the digital painting. Uh, so today I'm going to explain. Already uh, last class we we given you a, a, a example of uh, vector drawing. What is vector and what is a raster? Uh, vector already we have given you example and we have done with the illustrator so now we are talking about the raster so raster what software we are going to use we are going to use um, gimp okay we are going to use gimp uh, in vector we already use a software illustrator okay the same principle only we are going to use first uh, uh, we have uh, 10 minutes a little bit of glance about the vector and raster so this is the difference so vector is nothing but will will draw with the help of points but uh, raster is nothing but we used to draw with the help of uh, brushes okay with uh, like a pixel uh, when you zoom it you will see the pixels but uh, when the vector if you zoom it if you will have uh, no sharp edges so it will never get pixelated in vector. So that's why the logos are designed with the vector, right? So, and the second thing is, and this is what I told you. So in uh, raster, we used to draw with the brushes. So if you zoom it, you will get the pixelated. But in vector, when you are able to draw, you, you are going to draw with the help of the points. So this point, um, with the help of, yes, with the help of this point. So. If you connecting this point, you will get a proper shape. So when you zoom it also, you will get a proper edge. But here you will get a pixelated one. So this is what the main difference all about. Uh, here, as I told you, when you zoom it, you will get a sharp image in vector. Uh, if you zoom it in uh, raster, you will get a blurred image. So, so, so then uh the file format when vector usually we will save it in ai eps svg and pdf and cdr uh, in raster if you do uh, drawing in using the press you will save it in the png jpg J, like that so this is what the file format and i told you what kind of software we will use the software is here these kind of format okay if you use if you use these format, okay, you will use AI, you will use uh, this uh, oral draw and Inkscape. But this format is you will use here for uh, Photoshop and here we have uh, GIMP. So this is paid one, okay, this is a paid software, okay, this is a paid one, but this is open source, this is open source, okay, and here also uh, AI is a paid one, okay, paid, okay, here it is a open source, okay, so this is an open source, it's free, available, so now we are going to use the GIMP, we are going to use the GIMP to create a raster based uh, drawing, it's nothing but a digital painting, right, so, I'm going to close this, and uh, We'll have a recap of uh, Vector. So we use a software, uh, Illustrator. So three different things we need to know. So one is a layer. A layer is nothing but a note of paper. So a note consists of 10 paper, 15 paper, 20 paper. So we are going to have this note consists of only three papers. Okay, one, three paper. Each and every paper we call it as a layer. So what is a three layer? Uh, first layer we have we have our drawing okay first layer we will have our drawing on the second layer we will have our outline on the third layer we do we are going to have our uh, color so this three layer we are going to have and what are the tools we are uh, we have learned in this uh, vector software so pen tool scissor tool fill tool stroke and uh, shape tool so shape uh, tool so these tools we used and uh, uh, here, these were the steps. That that will be the similar only. The same three kind three steps only we are going to use in the raster also. So uh, this tutorial is for the beginner. This tutorial is completely for the beginner. Uh, step one. Step one. We will uh, drawing on the node. Step two. We will take a photo. Step three. We will install the software. Okay, Illustrator. And step 
code will create a new page and we created a layer one in that layer one we are going to uh, import our drawing okay import our drawing so as i told you earlier layer one is nothing but a drawing and layer two is nothing but we are going to trace out with the uh, using the trees three tool okay that is a shape tool there is a scissor tool that is a pen tool so with that we are going to use the uh, tracing the outline and there is a third layer we are going to color it so on the layer 3 we are going to use this three three layer three tools so what are the tools shape tool fill tool and we are going to remove the stroke so that we are finally will get the output similarly here raster software and he, we have a gimp we are need to know about the three layers three layer note of paper three layers uh, uh, sorry first layer uh, first layer is nothing but a drawing and second layer is nothing but a outline and third layer is nothing but a color similarly the same there is no much difference similarly the same but the tool is different here the tool is we use only brush erase and fill tool so this three thing only we are going to use step 1 okay uh, what is the step 1 so step 1 is drawing on your note step 2 is take a picture step 3 is installing the software okay installing the software what software gimp software so step 4 is creating a new page okay layer 1 we are going to import our drawing so we are going to import our drawing and uh, what is the step 5 uh, the same okay trace tracing the outline but how we will trace we will use brush and erase eraser we are using to correct the our mistake and brush tool uh, we have our brush tool to do that Uh, outline and here we have a color it color it coloring is nothing but we will use maximum fill tool and the brush tool so this uh, these are the tools we are going to use it so this is for yes so if you zoom out if you zoom out you you might see the same step okay uh, maybe it is very small but it's okay but I, i'll tell you 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 will see this you yes. you can see three layers the same three layers only we are going to use it here so i can say i will do like this maybe this will help you so here we are going to use a layer so this is uh wait so i'm going to erase this okay right uh yes so here it is a vector okay here it is a raster okay so here we are using uh, illustrator okay here we are using the software gimp okay gimp and uh, okay now we are doing three layers okay layer 1 okay and layer 2 and we have a layer 3 the same way we have a layer 1 and layer 2 and layer 3 okay here also we are going to import okay import image or image okay the same we are going to do here import or image right and the layer 2 we are going to do outline the same thing but the tools are different the second one the layers we are going to do a outline and for third layer we are going to do a coloring the same way we are going to use a coloring sorry uh, we are going to do a coloring right so this is a different that we are going to do let's see what this have contain now right so let's get started doing that 
so this is our uh, this is our uh, gim so in the, if you go to the uh, google gim if you do and you will get a website where you can able to download the uh, gim for free mm, here this is the toolbox these are the tool okay toolbox so these are uh, i'll say okay tool box super okay and uh, here you can here you can see a layer okay here you can see the layer so i'm just uh, right so here we have a layer so i'm just doing it a little bit yeah this this is fine all right so this is here we have a layer so let's get started first we will start with file <coughs> open as layer so we have our desktop we have some images in desktop maybe illana file new so we go to the a4 sheet okay and we'll click on okay so you will get the layer you can see the layer one okay i'll i'll type the name as the uh, layer one okay so that it is very helpful for you to understand that and second in the layer one what we are going to do we are going to import our images right okay you can see we have imported our image okay so but the image is very small so what i'm going to do i'm going to do little bit scaling so scaling here you have a you can see here you have a uh, tool this tool is for scaling okay if you click that particular tool is for scaling you can see when you go place over this tool you will get the name of the tool that is uh, transform tool okay no problem so here you have a square you have to use the square and make it larger use the square and make it larger okay again okay. super you got it right so now i got a big uh, i got a very big image right now so now i'm going to um i do actually this layer i'm going to merge it down uh, okay so if you see there is a eye okay each and every layer you have a eye it is make to visible and invisible your layer okay so this is a first layer and the second layer is now i'm going to create a second layer how we are going to create a second layer you can see this is the uh, group you can create a group here you can create a new uh, new layer so click on this particular tool okay you can see this tool this tool you are going to uh, take it click on that then it will create a new layer so this is the layer 2 right what i told you the layer 2 is nothing but we are going to use a outline so we are going to use the brush tool so where is the brush tool can you see the brush tool so here is the brush tool and here you will get the option okay here uh, here is the brush tool you can see wait just wait uh brush tool right so here we have a brush tool right here we have a brush tool and uh, here we have a uh, our uh, option tool so we are going to click on this brush tool i'm going to do it so click on the brush tool and if you see on the layer 2 i'm just transforming it 
you can see i am just painting but painting in white color i want to change the color so i am going to change the color to a black color you can see now i am painting with a black color but i want to paint a little bit dark okay you will see the difference here you have a brush palette okay here you have you will see the difference of this both when i zoom it you will get the difference if i zoom it the zooming yes if you zoom it can you see it is a uh, little bit sharp here it is little bit blur but if you zoom more and more you will see the pixel can you see you will see the pixel right so this is what i told you when you zoom you will get the pixel so i'm now i'm going to zoom out so click on zoom out okay right so i want this tool not this tool so i am selecting this particular brush then zoom out a little bit okay so i make it a center super make it a center just control is it if you do some uh, mistake you can make it as a control is it now i click on the brush okay right you can see you can vary the size you want okay i want a small size like this is enough or little bit big bigger so maybe 28 and this is okay all right so now i'm going to do it so i want to zoom little bit so i'm zooming in i'm zooming out yes now i want to trace this so i'm going to trace this out in this you can see so this is also till it is more big so i'll make it as maybe 16 and this is fine so i'll do it slowly you have to draw i told you last time when we draw we draw with the we draw with the points but here you have to draw like a normal drawing you can also use uh, if you want to use you can use the basic shape also but just slowly i'm doing If you do any mistake, you can simply click Control Z. That is called undo. The same drawing. I'm just doing this outline. So doing in mouse is a little bit diff difficult. Okay, but it's okay. Don't wor worry about it. Okay, whether the shape is right or wrong, it's okay. You are uh, a little bit zoom out. 
So I want to go zoom out. Okay, a little bit zoom out, going upward. Then, then I go with again the brush. Still now I not finished. And see, you can erase also if you want. You can have the eraser. You can erase also. And sometimes, if you have done any mistakes, okay, you can do some erasing. Okay, I have done somehow. Then uh, see, I am not using any shape. Okay, just free hand. I try to do the free hand, but if you do with the uh, basic shape, it will be really amazing. Okay, there are some other software also. So I have this. Okay, then I have to see, then see, then see, then see. So here I use only two tools. One is a brush tool, and second thing is an eraser. Eraser is used to do some any mistake. If you done, you can do the erasing part. Okay, so so little bit zoom out. Where I want to do zoom out, I have to do a uh, zoom out. Zoom out is how we will zoom out. We will get zoom out like this. Click on this zoom button. You can see zoom out little bit. Okay, so I will show you the. output so this is you can see this is uh, outline uh, and uh, this is the uh, uh, our uh, drawing right so what i told you uh, the layer 1 is our drawing layer 2 is our uh, outline and layer 3 is nothing but the coloring so i want to do a coloring so what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate this instead of uh, creating a new layer i'm going to duplicate this so this is layer Okay, so layer three is nothing but coloring. So I want the coloring should go down. Okay, so above we have a outline, and third layer should be the uh, coloring. So simply, what I have to do, I have to do um, filling the colors. That's it. So fill colors. So how do we will fill colors? You can see the fill colors here. Yes, fill colors. Okay, more brown. You just click on this foreground. You please set the white color. Okay, and if you see this, it's filled with white. Here, 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 here. You have to fill those colors with the proper, proper. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Just wait. 
<sighs> we have to fill this color. Zoom it a little bit. Zoom it. Zooming in. So a little bit zooming in. Right. So I want to fill the color. So just using the fill color, I'm just clicking on that. Cancel. I'm just doing that. One, two. Yes, yes, yes. Click on this here, here, and here. So now hmm. Okay, now I want here a blue color, so I want a little bit of blue colors. Right, I have a desaturated blue. And this is okay, fine. Okay, now it is filled, and here we need a gray color. So for that, we're going to use some gray colors. Gray color, here a gray color, and here the gray color, right? So here we need a blue color. So in the sky blue. I'm going to click on the foreground and I'm going to have a sky blue. Right. So above, we need to do small, uh, little bit of shading. So like I need a little bit of this sandal color. Okay, here also we need a sandal color. Now we have to do a dark, dark colors. So I'm going to have a little bit lower and I'm going to have a little bit dark color at this end. So I'm going to array draw this. I'm going to draw this. and uh, fill color so now we have to do a fill color go a fill color okay just filling the color okay just we fill the color and we brush click on the brush do some small touch up okay Okay, then we need to do a small light, uh, light color. Yes, here we need to do a small, So we need to do a light color. Then we have to fill the, fill this with the light color. So fill color here, fill it. Okay, right. So this is the right. So you can see. Okay, now we will do a dark here, a dark circle and we will do some uh, shading okay we will do a little bit of shading there so for that i'll take a uh, red color a dark color we are going to do a take another brush and we we'll fill color Okay, brush. I'm just doing the brush. Uh, 
okay and uh, now i'm going to fill the color so fill 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 the color okay and uh, after that i'm going to have a yellow color so click on this yellow color so i'm going to do this brush okay right similarly here also we need to take some some brush color if you want yeah okay then and this here we have this Okay, right. So maximum we have done this, and we can zoom it out. We'll do a zoom it out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, and finally we will have uh, our sky blue. So we have to fill our sky blue like this. Okay, sky blue for uh, outside. So I'm going to fill that with the sky blue. You can see this, no? so now what i'm going to do so this is this is our drawing this is the outline you can see this is our coloring okay you can see somehow we have done the same uh, if you see the our last video we have done the same but only one thing we are going to do little bit uh, different here is we are going to smudge it okay smudging is very important here Okay, so here you have a smudging. Okay, smudge tool. But here it will take <coughs> this. It will take more time. Wait. So zooming. Okay, I'll take a uh, zooming here. Zooming in. Okay, zooming in. I'll take smudging. I take a little bit big. Can you see this? So oh, this is called as merging. Okay. So spacing also. So spacing also less. Bottom surface. So we will do hardening like this. here we will use to do this okay so this is called as merging now this is the main difference between the uh, the uh, vector and the our uh, our raster based one it is not necessary to do a merging okay but i am not going to do a merging on uh, outer line but inner inner things i am going to do a little bit of merging you can see the color is actually mixing you can see the color is actually this mixing so using a uh, cell using our uh, uh, what to say using the mouse is little bit difficult to do a digital painting but if you use a pen tablet it will come really very nice output okay so if you use any pen tablet it will give you will get a very nice output
I'm just merging that, okay. Okay, so we will do. We have done some uh, smudging, but uh, when you see the outline, uh, zoom it out. Uh, zoom it in. Okay, if you see your uh, outline, okay, it is somehow a little bit uh, better. So now I'm going to do a little bit of shading. So I'm going to use a, a same tone like that with a gray color. I'm going to use the gray color. The same uh, light gray color, I'm going to use it. This is for coloring. Take a small brush, do a little bit uh, zoom in. Okay, so here what we have. A brush. So we can paint the hard color like this. We can do some coloring like this also. The normal brushing. So I have done. You, you have seen the difference there and there, here, okay? So like this, you go here and so. Okay, so here we have I have done this. You see, I'm just painting like a normal brush. See the coloring. Doing like a normal. And here you have a small shadow in the ear and here also we have a small shadow in the ear. Okay. 
here we have uh, shadow like Okay, now we have done all those things, uh, but here I don't want this uh, this color, this uh, black okay on the glass. So what I did, I just click on the erase tool. This eraser. On going to outline, I'm going to erase this. You see. I'm going to erase this. And here also I don't want, so I just click on this. Okay, now, okay, now I'm going to color. Just I'm going to do a smudging. Okay, so smudging I'm going to do with a small brush size. Or else, no, if the smudging in the gimp is not that much good, so what we can do now simply we will draw a coloring. Gray color. Already we have done one gray color. We will do the color again. I'll do a little bit of press. I'm just So we have done. Yes. So I'm zooming out. So zooming out a little bit. Going very big. I think there's a problem in my 
Yes, so we have done this. So this is this is our uh, drawing, and this is our outline layer two, and this is our uh, coloring. So if you see this, you can see our uh, you can see our mind map. You see this. The nine, nine, uh, the nine okay, right. So these are the steps. So this is our first step. Yes, uh, this is our uh, first step. Right. Super. So, super. We have done our drawing on the paper, we taken the picture, we installed a game, and we have imported on the layer one. If you see, then you see our layer one. So this is our layer one. If you see, we have imported our drawing and layer two, okay, our uh, layer two is nothing but, uh, it's a tracing, okay. The tracing, we use the brush tool and, uh, we use the brush tool and the eraser tool. So when we see this, this is our outline. Okay, so we done the outline. And third thing is, we have done with the coloring. So this is we have done the coloring. We use the brush tool and the fill tool. So this is our coloring. Where is the coloring? So brush tool and the fill tool like this. So if you do this, and you will get the result like this. So I'm going to save this file. So how we are going to save this file? Uh, go to file, save, control S. So if you save this file, it will save it in uh, control shift S. It will save in file. Export. I'm going to export it. So now I'm going to export in a PNG form. So we can export in a JPG form, also PNG form. This is PNG form. This is uh, raster. Raster. So raster image dot PNG. So I'm just exporting this. So save, export. Okay, so now we will compare. So I'm going to close it. Okay, so I'm, okay, I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to compare all those three. So this is my drawing. This is my drawing. You can see my drawing here. Right? This is the vector. So our uh, vector, so here, here we have our vector and here we have a raster. Right. So I'm just selecting this. So when I'll do like this, maybe this is better, right? And now this is a raster. Okay. You can see the difference. Okay, what is the main difference is if you zoom this particular drawing, you, you can see the sharp edges. Okay, but when you do this, then you do doing this, you can see it is pixelated. You can see the coloring, it is pixelated. 
you can see the color edge is pixelated so this is the difference if you see see the same area i'm just focusing on okay see the difference so this is the raster and this is the vector so now you understood uh, what is raster and what is vector and uh, thanks for joining may so this is a beginner class you can use this software no need to confuse uh, too much okay uh, we can use uh, three only we are going to use three layers and one is uh, importing the image second one is we are going to trace the image and third thing is we are going to color image and uh, thanks for joining uh, every saturday 8 o'clock we will have a session so join us and uh, take care bye bye thank you